Imagine a gem so mesmerizing, its blue brilliance could captivate anyone, yet so cursed, it brought misfortune to all who possessed it. Welcome to the tale of the Hope Diamond. Originating from India's collar mine, its first known owner, Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, acquired it during a 17th century expedition. Tavernier sold the diamond to King Louis XIV, unknowingly passing on a curse that would echo through history. King Louis XIV was enchanted by that blue diamond, but little did he know the terrible fate that awaited him and his descendants. After its recut into the French blue, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette met their tragic end during the French Revolution. After their demise, the diamond vanished, only to resurface in London two decades later, continuing its path of destruction. Now known as the Hope Diamond, after its new owner Henry Philip Hope, the gem continued to cast a dark shadow over those who dared to possess it. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, the diamond changed hands from Hope to Pierre Cartier and then to Evelyn Walsh McLean. Each owner experienced a series of misfortunes, from financial ruin to personal tragedies, further fueling the legend of the curse. In 1958, Harry Winston donated the Hope Diamond to the Smithsonian Institution, where it resides today, seemingly putting an end to its curse. The Hope Diamond's tale is a blend of fact and legend, a story of beauty tainted by a chilling curse. This captivating gem, rich in history, has seen royal courts and high society, yet whispers of a curse cling to it, casting a shadow on its dazzling grandeur. From Louis XIV to modern-day Washington, the diamond's journey is riddled with unanswered questions, adding to its enigma. The Hope Diamond remains an enigma, its blue brilliance enchanting millions, its curse a chilling reminder of the price of beauty.